Insane, right? And don't worry, you're about to see the full solo that was taken from. Obviously, that was the amazing O'Teal Burbridge, who's played with the likes of John Mayer, the Allman Brothers, Tedeschi Trucks Band, and a bunch of others. He's a bass monster, right? And I've got to say as well, massive influence for me when I was younger. Massive influence for me now. Now, we were hanging out over in New York, having a, uh, a bassy old time, as you'd expect, and he dropped a comment that it really resonated with me and he he basically you're going to hear him talk about it after you watch him take a blazing solo but what he said is he recommends that all of his students go out and buy a cheap six string bass even if they have no aspirations of being a soloist or playing a six string just from a learning standpoint of chords and harmony and that really resonated with me because i really recommend that all bass players should learn to play chords on their instrument because we need to outline the chords as bass players so we better damn well know what they sound like when we actually play them on the instrument. So when Oteil dropped that nugget, I was like, oh, that's a really interesting take. So you're gonna hear Oteil talk about it. You're also gonna hear him take a blazing solo and hang around for his story about him and Victor Wooten on tour. Um, it cracked me up. Just check it out, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But first, Check out this 30 second blazing solo from O'Teal. It's ridiculous. Do you think getting the six string helped yeah. you understand harmony in a new Dude, and fresh way? Yeah. I had so many of my students, I go, I'm not trying to convert you to six string, but go, please go get a cheap one and come see me. And then really, let me yeah. show you this and then go back to four string. Do you think I it's did it with you the can Almond play Brothers. chords? Because like if somebody's saying, oh, you know, like I want to, you know, um, get my musicianship to the next level and they're a bass player. Like I, something I always ask him is, do you play like a chordal instrument? Because it's, it's really nice just to be able to yeah. understand, not just in like a linear way, but actually yeah. just play a, a, a G major 7 chord, sharp 11 or whatever, and be able to hear it and then understand it. So that's yeah. what essentially you were doing. Yeah, because all the these string. two yeah. fives became apparent, like, you know. So yeah. the chord just goes down chromatically, but the bass does two fives. And I was like, oh, oh. This was like the key that dude, unlocked it. Just, I was like, get out of here. And so then for others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, you know, it's dominant to sh dominant sharp yeah, five. Yeah. And then, like, even the, like, I love this one. Uh, Stevie does this two five that's major seven to uh, sus. Overjoyed, right? Yeah, so you yeah, yeah. when I start doing it, I find uh, classical stuff, I find jazz tunes, I find Stevie tunes, and it just like um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know, like uh, I, I, this is a, a funny story. I probably I know we're probably gonna run out of time, but I, I was doing this trio gig. It was me, Victor Wooten, and his drummer, and we went to Japan. It was yeah. brutal. He would take a solo, <laughs> just peel the paint off the walls. <laughs> and then it would be my turn, you know. Like the next night, would be, I was like, "Can I go first? You know. <laughs> and, um, so he uh, he wanted me to take the solo over this tune, "Can't Hide Love." Yeah. And it's like, you know, I'm So you know that sounds really complex. I was like, dude, why are you? Why do I have to solo? Right? Can I solo over the van? <laughs> yeah. You know. So he's like, come on, man, you got this. You know. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was like, okay, let me figure out what the chords are. Yeah. Well, all it is is the sus four chord moving down chromatically. Yeah. 
But their yeah. genius melody over it is what made it sound like, you know, yeah, it was yeah, going yeah, yeah. like this. Yeah, it sounded like right? yeah, yeah. it's just going chromatic. I was like, I got this. Sorry. Yeah, when you were singing it and you like it sounded like you it was the same thing. Like I'm playing all kinds all of crunches kind of and... voicings. Yeah. Voicings, 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 vo <laughs> And then like so when I started learning this and then I go back to my four string with the Almond Brothers, I was like, man, you know, this D minor nine chord. Um, like I see it right here now, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't it's sound good, you know, but that's, that, yeah. yeah, 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 Jocko, yeah, yeah, so then I was like, oh, that's why, you know, or he would pick like, uh, you know, or I'm, uh, he would probably play that instead yeah, yeah, of playing because yeah, yeah. he can't play the the chord, yeah. but he could, you know, he would he pick could a couple. It. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're Miles. Miles can't play the whole chord, but he could play like some weird interval, yeah, yeah, the yeah, flat yeah. nine or flat five to or something. Imply the extensions, and then when yeah. Herbie's playing the th underneath it, it's like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, so yeah. amazing, you know. But well, wait, well, when did you get your first six string? When was the 90, when, when was it unlocked? 91, 92. And this is it, right? At this exact one. And that is one. so cool. Yeah. This one got <laughs> run over by a van. Fortunately, it ran over the neck and it was flat in a gig bag with like no padding. It, it popped the A string off and the other strings that was it. were still in tune. As always, guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. And obviously, huge shout out to O'Teal for being such a boss on the bass. If you've not checked out our channel here on YouTube, we release videos like this every single week, so make sure you subscribe below and switch your notifications on. And if you wanna find out what me and the team do when we're not uploading, you know, Basilicious goodness to YouTube, go to scottsbasslessons.com and you'll find the ultimate online bass school for bass players such as you and me, so we can learn from the best bass players in the world from the comfort of our own home. Essentially, we're disrupting bass education, and making it more awesome for you. So head on over to scottsbasslessons.com, check it out. Now, as always, take it easy, and I'll see you in the shed.